Hello everyone, welcome to La Liga Insiders. Right before uh, what happened this weekend against uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona, Barcelona won nil four at Santiago Bernabeu in the Clásico. And the information that we have from Real Madrid, first of all, is what happened in the second half of the of the game. In between, the bus stop in between Eric Garcia and Vinicius. Everyone is saying here uh, through the social media in Spain that Eric Garcia told Vinicius in the second half you are going to win the Ballon d'Or next uh, year. You're going to win the Golden Ball next year, you know, like very in a, in a very ironic way. The thing is that our sources confirms, even from uh, Barcelona and from Real Madrid side, that the first one insulting was Vinicius, saying to Eric Garcia that you are very bad. And that's why Eric Garcia answered back to Vinicius, you're going to win the Ballon d'Or, the Golden Ball, whatever you call it, next year. So that's why Eric Garcia and Vinicius, they have this kind of bust up in the second half of the game. I mean, we know how the revolutions were in between both. And it's something that they don't really give the importance, you know, the media does. Anyway, this is from Real Madrid, the first breaking news. What do you have, Gemma Sole? Welcome. What do you have from Barcelona? Hola, Rodri. That's karma, I think, what happened to, to Vinicius yesterday. Well, I'm, I'm going to explain you something we, we talked in, in last week, La Liga in Sanders, Insiders, about Dembélé. I, t I told you that Barcelona, the, the club they were considering Dembélé, uh, uh, lost case. That they, they, think, they still think he already has an agreement. Uh, they are not sure if it's with PSG or Chelsea. It's more probable that it's with the French side, otherwise uh, he could be having some problems with uh, the Blues. But look what happened yesterday in the celebrations. Look at this video. So the, the locker room goes crazy and we've never seen Usman Dembele so much adapt, so much happy uh, with being part of the group. Let's remember he got married last Christmas and his teammates didn't even know that he has a girlfriend, so no one, they were shocked. So he's never been happier. One of the reasons is because the signing of Obama Young, he was a close friend of him in Dortmund, so he's really happy. In that video, there is a rumor uh, between the fan base that he is uh, shouting, me quedo, me quedo, and when he's doing the I stay, I stay. That's a rumor, but what we can uh, explain, what I can explain, Rodri, is that some people in the board of members are reconsidering the situation. Uh, we, 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 I explained you all last week that the club didn't want to make any kind of move because at some they thought that his agent, Musa Sissoko, and the player were laughing at them. Remember that picture of Sissoko with the phone of uh, Leonardo PSG? Uh, they say, we, want, we don't want to be mocked by these people. But now, uh, as he's having the best time, the best football uh, since he arrived in Barcelona, he's the top assistant in uh, all the leagues in Europe with seven assists. He became yesterday the most assistant in El Clásico, uh, actually uh, equalizing um, Karim Benzema, which is not anything. So some people in the board of members are reconsidering if it's, it could be worth it, make a little approach in case there uh, is a chance to keep Dembélé because Xavi is uh, very fond of this player as we saw yesterday. It's still three months to know Dembélé's future. I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be the last episode of this relation in between Barcelona and Dembélé. Let's go back to Madrid because here in Madrid, you know, everyone is wondering what, uh, what will be Ancelotti's future after this loss against Barcelona. A very humiliating one. Uh, everyone is saying, you know, even last night after the game, uh, some media reported in Spain that he could struggle, even for this week, uh, as a coach of Real Madrid. The news that we have, you know, from our sources from the club is that he's going to be the coach for Real Madrid till the end of the season, first of all. And secondly, yes, uh, there is kind of a preoccupation on Real Madrid board because they didn't really like the way Real Madrid play, first of all. And secondly, the way he uh, used the tactics uh, against Barcelona because they believe in Real Madrid that he did it wrong and he failed in such an important game in which uh, Real Madrid uh, were the leader. They still are the leaders. But uh, they think and they believe that the image uh, could be uh, much, much better. And they do believe that they gave 
some wings uh, for Barcelona to fly even further than they thought at the beginning. So that's why, you know, they're kind of angry now at Ancelotti. And it's something that Ancelotti could face at the end of the season. He's going to be the coach of Real Madrid till the end of the season. And let's see what happens by June. Um, do you have something on Sergio Roberto, Gemma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have to talk about one of the captains of FC Barcelona. We hardly have spoken about him in five months. And let's remember that his future is in a big suspense. He finishes his contract this summer and still there's no agreement. The player wants to renew the contract and he was willing to have a significant pay cut in his uh, salary due to, to the critical situation of Barcelona. But him and, and his agent, they think that what Barcelona has proposed is just an invitation to leave the club. So there is like a Cold War situation. Uh, the negotiation is completely paused and it's been like this for three months now. So now the club, as uh, we were saying, he's one of the captains, he's not any other player. The club wants to put uh, a solution into this uh, uncomfortable situation. And later this week, there will be a meeting uh, with Joan Laporta himself and his agent, uh, Jose Maria Orovich. Uh, the, the club wants to know what, what's the will of uh, Sergio Roberto, while uh, the player wants to know if he, he has a future and then reconsider uh, that uh, proposal of Barcelona that it's not very attractive uh, in economical terms and then decide. Uh, I think he's having offers. There's something with Atletico Madrid and Arsenal. So, and he's not having that much room in the team. So probably we will be speaking soon of Sergi Roberto leaving Barcelona. There are no really lots of uh, transfer movements in Real Madrid at the moment. Let's talk about Hazard next week. But before that, we have to talk about the reaction right away, the, the Clasico. Uh, we talked about what uh, the board and what the club thinks about Ancelotti's tacticals against Barcelona. But let's talk about uh, the dress uh, uh, room, the dressing room, the locker room. Real Madrid players are not happy with the, with the performance of the team. Uh, and they are resting the, the thing on the way that uh, Ancelotti made the tactical thing during the week. They, they were like, okay, it could be like a great successful by Ancelotti and it, or it could be like a complete disaster, like finally it was. So they were like resigned, like, okay, whatever. We're going to try, we're going to go on the pitch. Um, we're going to, to win Barcelona, but the things that they did it really bad. And they do consider Ancelotti the best coach to, to coach them now at the moment at Real Madrid. But they think that the tacticals in the, in the game against Barcelona were like not the, that good enough for a game like, like that. That is one of the reactions of uh, Real Madrid locker room right after the game. So I don't know if they if they're gonna keep like this in the future. I guess, and I'm pretty sure, you know, as, at least as my source, uh, my sources at the club, they they they, they tell us uh, they're gonna change and they're gonna keep like the rest of the of the season and they're going to forget completely about what happened against Barcelona. They do believe they are still the leaders of the of the league. They're top on the table. They are going to face Chelsea with the with the self-confidence self-confidence that they used to have before Barcelona and they do believe that nothing is going to change. So they're still confident on being successful at this part of the of the season. And Gemma, uh, before ending up, you told me that you had something about Obama Young. Yeah, it's the, it's the man of the moment. I have the inside story of that, uh, this picture, that uh, that footage when he celebrates his second goal. So, this is the story. This is the, the picture. He was relaxing in the hotel, hotel Intercontinental, you know, that uh, fancy hotel you go very often to have dinner there in Paseo de la Castellana. And he was relaxing just before El Clásico. And he thought, what if I score in El Clásico? I need a memorable celebration. So he called his friend Alejandro, who is also his tattooist, and say, Alejandro, you need to bring me a superhero mask to celebrate the goal as I already did in Dortmund or in Arsenal. And Alejandro said, Alba, it's Sunday, it's 3 p.m., I don't have time, uh, shops are closed, I, can't, I cannot do that. But I have an idea. Uh, he's doing a tattoo of uh, Aubameyang, of uh, Goku, uh, with, uh, with that celebration. So he said, I'm going to bring you uh, the ball the Dragon Ball, and 
all habits uh, near the near the beach. So first goal of Obama Young, he was not able to find his friend because he was just in the other side. But second goal in the second half, he saw Alejandro, he scored again, he went to have the, the dragon ball and he did that. And Alejandro, he's explaining that uh, in a superhero level, in Goku level, Obama Young right now is just at level two. He's just uh, adjusting. He's uh, still uh, seeing how to play, watching uh, the colleagues, everything. So he scored eight goals in 11 games. Imagine, Rodrigo, if he goes to level, I don't know, nine or ten. He could be completely massive. You know, Dragon Ball, a uh, famous TV series here in Europe. Thank you very much, Gemma. And thank you thank all you. to be here another week. Please subscribe, send us notifications on, subscribe, and like this video. Goodbye. See you next week.